What's up, Jabroni? Steven here, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we are hopping into The Office, episode number three of season number two, Office Olympics. If you've been enjoying the series, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon for the full reaction. You can get the full reaction for this episode and every episode on the day that they drop on YouTube for $1. Uh, head over there. Check it out if you want to. I'm very much enjoying the series. Definitely uh, want to see where things are going to go with this episode. If you want the next episode early, all that stuff. But yeah, um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and pretty much let's get into this intro or into this reaction. Here we go. That was very, very interesting that ending there right like because of the emotional part the emotional perspective of the entire episode there at the end was interesting um well that was episode number uh three of season two um i liked it i know it's it didn't have that many like laugh out loud moments or anything like that but i thought the episode for the most part was pretty good i'm gonna give it an eight um going based on that uh even from the beginning how michael treats people is like he doesn't fully think or understand the concept of what he does. Example, he told his the song, the um part, the uh what do they call him? I kept calling him an intern, but he's not an intern because he's a part timer or they called him something. Or the the temp. He's the temp. Um he's the temp and he got caught in for a sandwich and it was just really weird and awkward. Uh Michael was buying his whole his house. Um I like how Pam talked about how Mike, or uh, how Jim gets bored at work. He has no drive. Then they just decide to do the, um, then she introduces him to a game. Then Jim decides to go around and find other games. The white bothering, bothering Michael to let him go with him, which actually paid, like it didn't pay off, but it did. Michael did have, uh, the white did bring some interesting insight into the entire scenario. Um, then after that, uh, let's see. We had the, the magazine subscription added the awkward, the weirdness, of course. Um, we had Mike. Uh, this is just a convertible thing. It's 50 degrees, but the white is hanging out with Michael. So he's like, wants to be cool. I want to be cool with my boss. And he um, decides to do this. The, all the games, the introduction of all the games uh, and everything led to, of course, the Olympics thing. Um, but this game right here was like, that's a game I would be playing. The thing about throwing the ball back and forth. Um, Michael being weird, awkward at the house. The white actually, we find out a little bit about the white in his farm. He you know, he lives on a farm, one bathroom, weirdly with his cousin. Okay, uh, we find out his this his his line about how do you have any games? Yeah, I have my game is work hard so my kids can go to college. <laughs> um, yeah, Mike the white had some interesting things. He was very very worried about Michael. He talked about the walls. The walls were very thin. That would be very very annoying. Luckily, I have pretty good walls, so I don't have to like deal with that. But if I was buying a house that close together and they were that thin, I would that would be a bit of bother. Um, yeah, then mostly it was just the games, a lot of small things, a lot of just to, like getting to know the character, like the um, the banter, the family aspect of their whole thing. How some people are into it, some are not. Michael having a breakdown, Michael caving when she was gonna, he said she's gonna lose, gonna lose seven thousand. I'm guessing he signed some type of paperwork and everything that essentially with the bank and that's what he would lose. Then we had the games, fun games, just hanging out. When we find out about this one, she's like, I have my own game. <laughs> my game is this, I call it, what does she call a uh, Pam Jim ball or something or whatever she said about how many times Jim gets up to talk to you. <laughs> it was just weird and awkward and her game about what a cat, she like throws, tries to do stuff with her cat, whatever. She's weird. Then, I liked how the white was ultra annoying to Michael to the point where Michael was like, like took it back. And then you try to find out the white's like, Oh, thank God. Cause he didn't, you know, he didn't want that. But then we also find out like the fact that Michael didn't think about you're inviting the white into your home. You're going to let the white live in your home, but you have to see the white every day after work, before work, it would be the most annoying shit in the world. Then just the game, the game, hanging out, hanging out. The ending was just sweet. And then this was weird, right? The whole just throwing it away. That I could have kept it for six months and threw it away, but I kept it away now. And Pam just kind of 
I don't know. It was just for some reason they just kind of like added some emotion to it. Like you work so hard on something. Yeah, it's like something you made simple, but you worked hard on it, and the person throws it away in the end because they have no need for it. It was an interesting little thing and how they felt bad for Dwight and I mean for Michael and I'm not I don't exactly get why Jim did the thing at the end and I feel it was just because they couldn't do the closing ceremonies without involving Michael and Dwight because they would have ruined it or not allowed it that's the only thing I could think of but it was also very nice Dwight had some nice emotion I mean there was a nice emotional moment with Michael almost like he regretted buying the house but like it was a nice emotional moment I, I really really liked it and then the ending was just the ending. And of course, story editor, Mindy Collins again. But yeah, I did the episode. I thought it was really, I thought it was pretty good. Um, like I said, not the comedy, uh, like not funny, funny, like anything, but it had a lot of interesting moments, got like development with the characters. We got to know different, the family, like I said, the family dynamic and the way that they interact with one another and how Jim has no drive. And the one, like we just got to know a lot more about the characters a little bit, um, a little bit about everybody. And I, I liked it. I don't know. I'm giving it a. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. My reaction to it, but yeah, hopefully you guys like this. If you want the full reaction, head over to Patreon. You get the full reaction this episode for one dollar. Uh, every episode when they drop on YouTube, you can go and get them for one dollar. Actually, you can get them a day before they drop on YouTube, but you can get the full reaction form as well. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. You can get next episode early, and I'm gonna get out of here, and I'll talk to you guys later.